Right then, we've been up on the Penn Hill. We've come down the steep windy path, much better than going up it. On the way, I didn't notice this on the way up, but here we've got West Witten Cemetery. Now it is probably quite a new one. <coughs> it's probably quite a new one. Oh, how do I get in? Hold on a minute, on again. The reason for doing more modern churchyards is the descendants. You can get ideas from descendants, so uh, that's why I still do the new stuff. Because a lot of the old ones might be unreadable. So we do this one. Quite pleasant, isn't it? Like I said, it's just a small cemetery. It's probably not even been going many years. We're just looking for names. Robinson, Buckton, Lunn and Bagley. These could all be people that moved from London that live here now and died here, see? So we're just looking for names. And not only that, it's all part of the community as well. And the one you miss could be the one, so you've got to check them all. What I'll do, I'll do these two rows here. It's all part of the community though. They've got these little graveyards tucked in everywhere. Have they? Yeah. We're not dispensers, a common name. Um, in Wednesday churchyard, lots and lots of Spencers and Pearsons. Little view over to the village. We've got to find somewhere to park yet, yeah? and there's a view over to Bolton Castle over there. I'll take a picture. The reason I take a picture is names surface later sometimes when you're doing your research. Um, like I said, we, it's always um, potluck with a uh, whether you're going to find anyone moved up in time. Um, now here we've got one. Look. We've got the name Rob Robinson. John Robinson Jack Graham died 28th of November 1997, aged 78. Now he might have taken his father's name Graham but his mother, he might have taken her name over. She could have been a Robinson. So if there's any mention of the surname. So it was so there you go, we've got him now. He's down in the book. Well that's all. <sighs> Plenty of room for more people. 
and the hills behind. Lovely, quiet, peaceful little graveyard, isn't it? People that lived and worked here had their families, got married, were baptised and had their funerals. Thank you everybody. Over and out for a minute folks. I'm not sure if that videoed then. I've got to remember to press the button twice. So I might not have videoed when I came along there. So basically we've got a, um, a Right. Third time lucky. This camera don't like getting hot. Francis, the relic of John King. Who departed this life 20th of January 1801, age 74. I just walked along there. I've parked on the road on a temporary basis for a minute. There's nowhere to park. I ain't gonna be gone long. John Hall. Of course they shut churches about four, don't they? So what do you want to do? Do you want to go in the church first? Make sure you've got that in there, Shell. Yeah. Lots of clerks. Lots of clerks. So this is St. Bartholomew's, it's got quite a few graves, and they're in the shade, I can cool off. Oh, oh it smells like a church, doesn't it? I'll do a video in the dark, it's a neat little fond, isn't it? It's with a long stalk like that. Because <sighs> you have to go online to get um, Leaflets these days. Ah, oh, there's one there. Anglo Saxon structure. Oh, I'll get one of those as well. We'll get that. So this is Sheila in St. Bartholomew's Church, West Witten. Um, I did the church, I did the Penhill early before it got too hot and before the risk of a storm. St. Bartholomew. A fine piece of sculpture was found during restoration of the church in 1876. It had been built into the chancel wall in a niche concealed from view by a flat stone. In medieval church rebuilds, early stone items were often simply broken and used as building material. Oh, look at that Anglo-Saxon sculpture. It dates from the 8th and 9th centuries. This period was an important one for the development of the Christian faith in Lower Wensleydale and the Valley of the River Ur. These are two sculpture slabs at Wensley which are much which are more or less contemporary with this stone as well as an impressive decorated column in Marsham. At this period in England 
At this period, England was comprised of five kingdoms, of which Northumbria extended from the border south to the Humber, divided between Bernicia to the north and Deira to the south. I got the, I should have the, all this in the leaflet. I'll have to come around and do some photos in a minute. The stone, like those of Wednesday, is from the local coarse grain felpathic grit stone, which could have come from as close as Penn Hill. It is perhaps more likely, however, that the Uridale sculptures were produced at a single quarry closer to the river along which they may have been transported. I'm going to cool off a bit. Look at that big Bible. Look at that. It's massive, isn't it? I wonder if it's got any names in it. <sighs> big bells. I'll have to look all the history up later. I mean, at the moment, I'm absolutely baking up. But it's important for me to do these jobs and to find some flowers. No cash is kept in the church. Oh, right. What about why I want to pay for the items then? Yeah, it's too small. Oven and nice. Somebody who died in 1803 called Elizabeth, aged 29. <coughs> the body of the Reverend James Lawson, BD. And that's his daughter. A little tiny pulpit, look. look how small that one is. Not as grand as Wednesday, is it? This church. It's got a couple of arches. Yeah, Saxon Cross, yeah. If there's only names on the men who fell in the war. A couple of kings there. So king is common from it round here then. Henry King. Arthur King. That was the First World War. <coughs> So it could be Betsy could have married a John King from Wensley, couldn't she? And they moved to London because of his work. A lot of people were moving about in them days. <coughs> we don't we don't always know the whole story. West Witten. Oh dropped on the leaflets. Yeah, the Sony's playing up a bit, isn't it? Like getting, it gets overheated, the Sony's does. It's going to be hot in the graveyard, but there's some shaded areas. Some shaded areas. Just walk up to the altar again. I think somebody might have in the family walked here.
and I'll start taking some photos. <coughs> Nice stained glass window. All right, you'll run out for a minute.